Hey guys, today I'm going to recap the drama mystery movie called Deep Water. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The film opens with Vic and his wife Melinda, married and having a daughter named Trixie. We watch Melinda as she prepares to go with her husband to attend a party at her friend's house. She brings a babysitter to take care of their baby girl. When they arrive at the party, Melinda leaves her husband and goes and hugs a friend of hers named Joel. We see Vic watching his wife closely, and he was upset by her behavior and her closeness to him, but he was forced to remain silent in order to maintain his relationship with her. After that, she introduces Joel to her husband and leaves them alone. Vic talks to Joel about a guy named Martin, who was formerly Melinda's boyfriend. Vic told him that he killed Martin because he was close to his wife. After Joel heard these words, he felt afraid and left the party. Melinda gets upset with Joel because he left the party. Melinda feels that her husband was the reason for Joel's departure, but he denied having anything to do with it. Vic was a very quiet person, and he loved his wife. After that the couple returned home, and Vic was giving money to the babysitter while she was leaving. But suddenly, he saw Melinda making coffee but wearing inappropriate clothes, so he got angry with her and asked her to come back and not do that in front of the babysitter. She was angry with him, but he came to her room and asked her to choose someone smarter than Joel. She asks him if he loves her because of her intelligence. He told her that this was one of the reasons, but she told him she didn't feel that way, and she chose to get into a relationship with Joel because of that. Then she calmly told him to leave the room. After that, he went to the basement, and we noticed his love for snails, and he takes care of and raises snails. Vic is the responsible person at home and prepares breakfast and drives his daughter to school, while Melinda does nothing at all. After he dropped his daughter off at school, he met a friend. She asked him about the murder he committed without him telling her. He asked her who told her that. She told him that Joel told the townspeople that Vic was the one who killed his wife's friend and had threatened to kill him. She was laughing and thought he was making fun of Joel. When he returns home, Melinda finds out that her husband threatened Joel, so she asks him to apologize. Vic met with his friends, and they told him about the rumors that Joel had spread and asked him to control his wife because she is wrong and flaunts her relationships with others. Melinda invited Joel to dinner. Joel started talking about his new job in Mexico, and he told them that he would leave the country the next morning. Melinda told him that she wanted to visit Mexico. Joel tells her that he would be happy if she came to his house in Mexico, but Vic tells him that he will reserve a hotel room for her and will not leave her alone. After that, Melinda starts talking about her husband's boredom and that she wished he was a normal person. He told her that if he was a normal person, Joel wouldn't be sitting with them. Joel goes to the bathroom. Melinda asked her husband to read a story to their daughter and take her to the room. Indeed, he takes his daughter to her room. After that, he watches his wife dancing and spending time with Joel. After that, she asked him to sit and talk to Joel. They started talking. Joel asked him to apologize to him for what he did at the party, but he refused and asked him to leave the house because it was getting late and that if he did not leave, something dangerous would happen. Joel got scared and left. The next day, they went to a party. Melinda was with her friends, but suddenly, she saw him dancing with a girl. She felt jealous and annoyed by her husband's behavior, but she tried to pretend otherwise. While they were returning home, she was angry with him, but he did not say anything to her. The next day, Vic received a phone call telling him that his wife was sending money to someone for piano lessons. After that, he started looking for this person named Charles. He succeeded in finding him and went and attended one of his shows, but he was surprised that his wife was in the same place. But he left without letting her notice him. When he returned home, he learned through the news that the body of his wife's friend named Martin had been discovered. He told his wife about this, and she was surprised and started crying. The next day, he saw that Charles was carrying a bouquet of roses. But when he returned home, he was surprised to find a bouquet of roses in his house. He got angry and threw the roses in the trash. Then he went to the snails to take care of them and then went to sleep. One day he woke up, but did not find his wife at home. When she returned home, he asked her why she was late and why she was spending money, but she did not answer him and provoked him. The next day, they held a party at their house and invited their close friends, but Vic was surprised by Charles coming to the party. He got angry because of that, and he also saw his wife hugging him. Melinda tried to introduce Charles to Vic, but he left them and left. 
After that, he continued to watch his wife, but he lost track of her. Then he noticed her and Charles in the room and the door was closed. Then he watched them while they were going to the swimming pool, and he watched them while he was angry. It started to rain and everyone went inside except Vic and Charles. Then after a few moments, Vic enters inside. Melinda started looking for Charles, but she was surprised when she saw his body inside the pool and she started screaming loudly from the horror of the sight. After the police arrived, Melinda accused her husband of killing Charles, but he was calm and denied it. Vic's friends told the police that Vic was inside. After that Vic is acquitted of this charge because they have no evidence against him. After that, Vic asked his wife if she wanted to divorce him, but she did not answer him. After that, we watch him while riding his bicycle thinking about the crime he committed, but he noticed a car watching him. A few days later, he was walking in the street and also noticed the same car in front of a restaurant. He entered the restaurant and saw his wife with a man. He sat with them and began to get to know this person. The man told him he was a psychiatrist, but Vic was suspicious of that, so he asked him where his clinic was. But he told him that he came to the city a short time ago and does not have a clinic yet. Vic asked him to show him his work ID, but he did not give him that either. Vic left them and left, and after several investigations he made, he went to a guy named Don who was spreading rumors about Vic. He also revealed Don's cooperation with Melinda, and she gave them money to monitor him. He asked them to stop what they were doing. While returning home, he saw his wife going out with someone else. He entered the house and took care of his daughter. At night, he watched his wife on the phone with her new boyfriend, planning to go to Brazil with him. We see him getting very angry at what he heard. The next day, his wife's friend came home at dinner time. Vic was angry, but tried to control his temper. After they finished eating, Melinda went out with her boyfriend while Vic stayed inside washing the dishes. A few days later, Vic saw his wife's friend named Tony, so he offered to give him a ride. Tony already agreed. Vic took Tony to a forest. Tony felt afraid and worried. When they got out of the car, Vic hit him with stones and continued to hit him until he killed him. Then he tied the body with stones and threw it into the river. Days after Tony's disappearance, the relationship between him and his wife began to improve. Then they went on a trip to the same forest, but Vic noticed the body in the river. So, he asked that they return home so that his wife would not find out. When they returned home, she told him that she had forgotten her cloth in the forest. So, he decided to go alone to the forest to get the cloth. One day, Melinda went into the basement and found Tony's wallet there. She started to break down and cry because she learned that her husband was killing her friends. Vic arrived in the forest and tried to push the body into the river to hide it. But suddenly, Don was there and was watching him because he was suspicious of him. When Don saw him, he told him that he would inform the police. Vic tried to follow him, but Don sped off in his car. But Don gets into a car accident. His car falls into the river and he dies. After that, Vic returned home. His wife was waiting for him and she told him that she knew everything about him. But she decided to leave everything, forget the past and live with her husband because she realized that she was wrong. And despite that, her husband did not leave her. Subscribe now for more videos like this. Hit that notification bell to get notified of our latest uploads. Smash that like button to help this channel up. And as always, thank you for watching.